everyone now we are going to see the condensed matter physics part 2 here we are going to study about the crystallography for that we have to know what is meant by crystallography it is a branch of science that deals with the discerning the arrangement and bonding of atoms in crystalline solids and with the geometric structure of crystal lattice now we have to know what is unit cell the unit cell is defined as the smallest repeated unit with full crystal structure symmetry. Unit cell can be defined as the smallest part of the component of the crystal. A group of atoms, ions or molecules which are arranged together in a pure manner to build the crystal. The unit cells are structured in three dimension. Here you can see the unit cell. The next one is crystal structure. A crystal structure is made up of atoms, a crystal lattice is made up of points, a crystal system is a set of axes. Crystal structure is obtained by an attachment of atoms, groups of atoms or molecules. The structure occurs from the intrinsic nature of the constituent particle to produce a symmetrical pattern. A small group of repeated pattern of the atom structure is known as the unit cell of the structure. The unit cell is the building block of the crystal structure and it also explains in detail the entire crystal structure and symmetry with the atom's position along with its principal axis. The length, the edge of the principal axis and the angle between the unit cells are called lattice constant or lattice parameter. Here you can see there are seven crystal systems are illustrated below. The isomer called as a cubic system and you can see the tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal, I trigonal. Here also you can see this seven crystal structures and also the Bravis lattices which refers to 14 different three-dimensional configurations into which atoms can be arranged in the crystals. There are four types of unit cell P refers to primitive, I refers to body center, F refers to face center, C refers to side center. There are A, B, C letters have been used to denote the dimension of the unit cells, which are letters alpha, beta and gamma denote the corresponding angles in the unit cell. Next one is crystal defects. The imperfection in the regular geometric arrangement of the atoms in a crystal solid located at a single point along the lines or on the whole surface in the solid, these defects influences its mechanical, electrical and optical behavior. There are few, few types of defects here we have mentioned. The one is point defect, the second one is line defect and the third one is surface defect. And the fourth one is volume defects. So uh, I will explain you in details about the point defects. The point defects includes the Frankel type, the Scott key type, and the impurity type. The Frankel defect involves a single ion which is displaced from its normal lattice point which shift to a neighboring intrinsic or space or between the atoms in the lattices. The next one is line defects or dislocations we can call it as or lines along which rows of atoms in a solid are arranged there anonymously. The resulting irregularity in the spacing in between these along is called, line is called, we can call it as a dislocation. Another one is surface defects. This may arise at the boundary between the two grains or small crystals. With a larger crystal, the rows of atoms in two different grains may run in slightly different direction leading to a mismatch across the grain boundary. The volume defects are called as a voice, the absence of numbers of atoms to form internal surface in the crystal. They have similar property to micro cracks because of the broken bonds at the surfaces. Next we move on to the Brock's law. When the X-ray is incident onto a crystal structure, its angle of incident, we can call it as a theta, will reflect with the same angle of scattering theta. And when the path difference d is equal to your whole number n, 
of the wavelength lambda constructive interference will occur here you can see the diagrammatical representation of Broch's law is here and also here you can see the Broch's equation that is we all know n lambda is equal to 2d sine theta here you have the description of the each of the parameter we can say lambda refers to wavelength of the x-rays d refers to spacing of crystal lattices theta refers to incident angle and n is an integer the principle of Bragg's law is applied in constructive of instruments such as Bragg's spectrometer which is often used to study the structure of crystal and molecules thank you for watching the video thank you